should do it. We've proved our point. Carter, can you hear me? Loud and clear, General. What the hell are you doing? Transformer needs a little tweaking, as long as I'm up here. It was a hell of an exhibition you put on out there, Cotter. You really had us going. How'd he feel? Like I could go out there and do it again. That won't be necessary. You passed that test with flying colors and then some. We're ready for the transfer. Looks like we're all set. See you on the other side. Transfer sequence, code alpha, Nothing wrong with your television. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are now controlling the transmission. We control the horizontal and the vertical. We can deluge you with a thousand channels or expand one single image to crystal clarity and beyond. We can shape your vision to anything our imagination can conceive. For the next hour, we will control all that you see and hear. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the deepest inner mind to the outer limits. Please stand by. Since our earliest beginnings, we have always believed in some form of transcendence. But when we finally discover how to transcend our own biological bodies, what exactly will we gain? And what will we leave behind? Hey, Greg, how am I doing? You're one magnificent creature. <laughs> well, that goes without saying. 
What I meant was, how's my alter ego here doing, huh? <laughs> Remarkably well. <laughs> uh, you know, considering what it's been through, our friend here managed to deflect 50 kilowatts of electricity up on that tower today. You know what that would do to a normal human body? Yeah, toasted as in marshmallow. But look at this. Hardly a mark on him. That's pretty amazing. We've uh, shot it, we froze it, we cooked it, we tried to electrocute it to death, and uh, takes a licking, keeps on ticking. Imagine a whole army of these things? We've done more than imagine it. With Next Generation Commando Group, <laughs> a platoon of these beauties could get through the most hostile enemy environment, totally unscathed. Nuclear, biological, chemical, you name it. I won't pretend I'm not pleased with our success, with your success, Cutter. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, not the machine, it's the driver. <laughs> I said, Doc, now that we're done patting each other on the back, can we talk about our one little glitch? Hmm? I'm halfway up that tower in the servo valve and the left knee actuator now functions again. I thought you fixed that. I did fix it. Mm-hmm. Does it look like an XT-433 subroutine to you? It sure does. Mm. No, but it, it, it can't be. The XT-433 was replaced by the XT-434. Or at least it should have been. Well, I'd hate to be out in the field up to my ass and alligators and come up with a bum leg. I don't understand. I, I, I was sure I inputted the new subroutine into the system. <sighs> I guess it must have slipped past me somehow. That's what 36 hours without sleep does to a man. Come on, Pete. Let's leave the good doctor alone with his guilt. Thanks. Dinner's ready. Yeah, I'll be right there. What's all this? What does it look like? Thought we could have dinner by candlelight. Well, romance never hurt anybody. Mm. <laughs> so what else do you have planned this evening? Why, Captain McCoy, I can assure you that my intentions are strictly dishonorable. Lucky for me. <laughs> so, do you miss me? Terribly. Do you miss me? I couldn't think of anything else. A liar. Uh, what, me? A liar? Come on. <laughs> That's okay. I love you anyway. Not as much as I love you. Hmm. <laughs> God, I am ravenous. Oh, sorry. Dinner first. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, it did yourself as usual. Something wrong, huh? No, not really. Mm -mm. All right, don't give me that. Spit it out. Okay, what did you do today? Mm -hmm. Sally. I know, I'm not supposed to ask. So how's your steak? Done just the way you like it? Mmm. Really tasty. Sally, I know that the last couple of months have been hard on you. <laughs> hard on me? Connor, I don't know if I've married a man or a rumor. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I know how important this work is to you. Not just to me. I mean, what I'm doing is making the world a better place, a safer place. Well, that sounds kind of corny, doesn't it? No, it doesn't sound corny. And I'm doing this for us, too. All right, this is high profile. This is going to get me out of the trenches and into the spotlight. I mean, you would not believe some of the brass involved with this. I'm sure, sweetie. If I didn't love you so much, all of this separation wouldn't be so awful. All right, listen. We're entering the, the final phase of testing. It's just going to be a couple more weeks at most. All right, when we're finished, we'll go grab that R&R I've been promising. You know, a bungalow on the beach, just the two of us. I'm not worried about a vacation, sweetie. I'm worried about you. I have never been more happy in my entire life. That's exactly what scares me, Cotter. I know you. You're never happier than when you're living on the edge, so whatever it is you're doing, I'm sure risk is involved. Honey, there is risk involved in getting out of bed in the morning. Come on. I'm okay, really.
Sally. He startled me. Yeah, I have that effect on women. Mm. That uh, bum of a husband of yours around? Yeah, we just finished breakfast. He'll be right out. Sorry to keep running off with them like this. Don't say it if you don't mean it, Pete. You think I enjoy separating your lovebirds? Mm. Well, take care of him for me, will you? And take care of yourself, too. I'd hate to lose either one of you. Sally's is nothing but a series of training exercises. Nothing more, nothing less. Why well, you say that like no soldier's ever been hurt in a training exercise? Don't worry. He'll be fine. Hey, take your hands off my wife. I don't know if I'd seen her first. <laughs> yeah, well, you didn't. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I'll be in the car. Bye, Sally. Bye, Pete. Oh, come on. Oh, no, it's okay. I knew what I was getting into when I married you. Did you? No. But you were damn handsome in that uniform. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Take care of yourself. I will. You too. I'll see you in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Exercises. You're always in such a hurry to get me out of cotter number two and back into my own body. I mean, what is the margin exactly? We don't like to keep you in there any longer than we have. But how long can your mind safely reside in the android's brain? Let's just say it's not a limit I'm anxious to test. Any particular reason? You are full of questions today. You expect me to have my higher brain functions deleted on a regular basis without knowing everything you do? Ah. <laughs> uh, look, we're getting these glitches straightened out, I promise. General? Well, Cotter, you ready for these last round of tests? Yeah, zap me over there and turn me loose. <laughs> I flew down to Washington last night. I've got to tell you, the president is positively ecstatic over the progress we've been making here. He sends his regards, and he wants me to tell you that you are in line for one hell of a promotion. Just don't expect me to start saluting and calling you sir. We're ready, gentlemen. Let's rock and roll. You all set, Cotter? Yeah, all set. Last chance to abort. What, are you kidding? I'm starting to get used to this. Let her rip. Beginning transfer sequence. Code Alpha Several full thickness or third degree burns of the epidermal layer. Each of these burns appears to have a central charred zone and a peripheral gray white zone. 
necrosis. Tissue samples. Get out of my way. Stand back, sir. That's me. They're working on him there. You better get in there and try and calm him down. my body in there, Pete. I have a right to see what's going on. You're not a doctor. What, whatever's happening in there, there's nothing you can do. How could this happen, Pete? How? I don't know, Cotter. Holander said all systems were go. It must have been a freak malfunction of some sort. It's over, isn't it? Leave us, gentlemen. Cotter, your body suffered extensive tissue degeneration. We won't know the full extent of the damage till after the autopsy. This can't be happening. It can't be. Do something. You have to bring me back. Do you hear me? Bring me back. You can't, Cotter. No one can. I'm sorry. I'd like to think this was an accident. Either that or... Or what? Well, as much as we've tried to keep the screws tightened down during this project, it is possible that someone may have slipped in and committed an act of sabotage. We know of at least two other military android programs under development in, well, shall we say, less than friendly countries. The first coalition to put android soldiers onto the battlefield will have a decided advantage over their opponents. Are you suggesting that someone did this deliberately? No, I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just pointing out some options we should consider during the course of our investigation. I insist on being a part of that investigation, sir. Don't even think about cutting me out of this one. If somebody did kill me, I want to be there when we find out who. It's uh, what I was afraid of. The uh, electric current passed into the brain itself. There are uh, lesions and burnt tissue all the way down through the corpus callosum into the cerebellum. Even if I could have gotten your heart started again, it wouldn't have done any good. I'm sorry, Connor. What am I going to tell Sally? How am I going to break it to her that her husband, the man that she loves, is dead, but that his mind is still alive inside a machine? Connor, your hand. The interface between your mind and your android body is starting to break down. Your android brain operates on the same principles as a human brain. The synapses in a small section of what is essentially your motor cortex are either misfiring or not firing at all. What's causing it? We don't know. It makes you so sure it's a total breakdown. How, how do you know it's not an isolated incident? He's right. Look at my hand. It's fine now. initial phase of testing with other primate subjects, the same degradation occurred. Meaning your android apes had the same problem? Yes. We think the stress you suffered since the accident this morning has speeded up the degradation. How much time do I have? Twelve hours at the outside. Twelve hours? And then what, my whole damn body starts twitching? The pattern of decay varies, but the end is always the same. You'll gradually, maybe not so gradually, lose control over your extremities, and then ultimately you'll be unable to speak or move or perform any other function. Damn you, Greg. You knew about this all along and you didn't tell me. You knew there were risks when you volunteered for the project. Things were going so well, I didn't think about the risks anymore. Sally knew, Pete. 
She didn't know the details, but she knew it was dangerous. I, I have to see her. I have to tell her what's happened. I'm not sure that's a good idea, Captain. How would you break it to her, Cotter? What would she think, seeing you like this? Th th there are tests we can run, Cotter. Working together, we might be able to slow the degradation. If you Maybe... don't know how to stop it by now, Greg, you won't figure it out in the next 12 hours, General. I request permission to go home and see my wife. I'm sorry, Captain. Let me get this straight. Are you saying I'm a prisoner? Cotter! Follow my instructions and no one will get hurt. Cotter, put the damn gun down. You don't know what you're doing. Never argue with a man who has nothing to lose, Pete. In there. dollar weapon system running around on a loose doing whatever it wants as soon as we're out of here i have to return to washington and brief the president and the nsc that leaves colonel butler in charge colonel you have expressed orders to either recapture captain mccoy or terminate him by any means necessary uh, with all due respect general as long as that android is alive so are cotter's chances i believe i can get him to listen to reason right now he's an errant missile if you won't take the necessary action i'll find someone who will ah. Sally. It, it's Cotter. Cotter, what are you doing? Turn off the porch light. Why? Just do it, please. Cotter? You're scaring me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to. Why are you hiding from me? Is everything all right? For the moment. Well, this is silly. Come inside, honey. I, I can't stay. I just had to see you. Well, come up under the porch, at least. No, stay there. Are you all right? I, I can call a doctor. I know it sounds incredible. I'm the first human prototype. The first human to be downloaded into the prototype, to be more precise. Why? It was an experiment to fuse the electrical field that made up my mind, maybe even my soul, into a synthetic body. 
see me like this. There was an accident at the lab. This is all that's left of me. I have to get out of here. Why? Why? I, well, I'm going with you, then. No, it's too dangerous. Look, don't argue with me. Not now. Dr. Olander. Nice place you have here, Greg. Cotter, is that you? I just met your father. I didn't know he was in town. You never tell me these things. What are you doing in my house? What do you want? I want you here alone. And you better make it fast. Isn't there something that we can do? Maybe you'll let us figure something out. We'll know soon enough. What have you done with my phone? You wanted to lie down. I don't. There hasn't been enough time. I'm losing motor control. The convulsions are more frequent now. I need your help, and I'm going to get it one way or the other. There's nothing I can do for you, Cotter. I'm sorry. Cotter, don't. Stay out of this, Sally. This is between me and the monster who turned me into this. I'm on your side, Cotter. Don't you see that? My, my, my heart and soul are in this project. Why would I do anything to, 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 to sabotage it? Somebody did sabotage it. Well, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't. Cotter, please. Please, Cotter. Cotter, Cotter, stop it! Uh, all right, all right! Uh, I'll tell you what I know. Uh. The accident was caused by a missing feedback suppressor. Somebody removed it just before the last transfer. Who? I don't know. But you have an idea. Uh, 
I, I, I discovered an anomalous pattern in the software logs. It appears that someone removed the disk with the operating code and, and replaced it with an earlier generation of the program. One of your technicians? No, not possible. They're not allowed into the transfer room when we're not working. Plus, their work's compartmentalized. They don't have access to the entire operating system. Only four people have unlimited access to the program on disk. You, me, General Chase, and Pete. But, no, I, I, it can't be Pete, Cotter. Why not? He's been feeling passed over ever since we started with me for the first download. He even pushed for a parallel program and volunteered to be next in line. Maybe he couldn't wait. But why? Why, why would he do it? I thought of trying to find a suitable donor. Donor? You can put my mind into another man's body. Can, can you do that? Theoretically. But where we'd ever find such a donor, one that would pass all the compatibility requirements, well, there just isn't time. Then think of something else. Well, there is one other option, but I, it's really a I long shot. I don't have many options, Greg. I don't know if this would work, and even if it does work, it'll only be a temporary solution. What? What is it? <laughs> it may be possible uh, to slow down the degradation process by using the MEG. MEG, what is that? The magneto electroencephalograph to incrementally realign the spin axes of the neural array. That might give us the time we need. There's one problem. We can only try this back at the lab, and the whole research center is crawling with commandos. General Chase has given out orders that you are to be terminated on site. Well, there's just, there's got to be another way in. There is. Visitors are not permitted to enter. Uh, this is Cotter McCoy's wife. I was taken against my will, but I was able to get away, and I called Dr. Olander here. Listen, okay, my husband is no longer my husband. He's crazy, out of control, and he's got to be stopped. She may be our best chance of finding him. I'm sorry, but I have my orders. Look, you idiot. I am the lead scientist for a top classified project, and this is an emergency. Now, if you want to explain to General Chase why you were playing tin soldier while a $2 billion piece of technology got destroyed, be my guest, and good luck with your new career as a dishwasher. the scanner beep. Tell me the truth, Greg. Do you really think this is going to work? I don't know. I've never tried it before.
crashed. That's okay. We're ready. Let's get you into the chamber. Don't worry. I'll find a way to get you back. And when he does, I'll be here waiting. your old buddy, Pete? Guess you didn't know that Greg and his minions built a second prototype, a backup, in case you failed. Let him go. There'll be plenty of time to deal with you later. As soon as I take care of my friend here. It was... Jealousy, wasn't it? Don't flatter yourself. That's why you arranged to kill me. You were in the way. We were friends, Pete. We'd been through everything together. But you always in the lead. Whenever we were up for the same assignment, same promotions, they always went to you. You learned how to play the game better. As long as you were around, I'd be second best. You're the one who's been stealing the operating codes. I knew someone would start sniffing it out. How is that bum knee, Carter? You betray your best friend. This was not about friendship. This was about all those years of being ignored. Well, they can't ignore me anymore, can they, good buddy? Give it up, Cotter. Your mind-body links nearing termination. Your convulsions are getting worse.
Thank you, Murray. Your husband was a true hero, Mrs. McCoy. The Army owes him a great debt. Thank you, General. I'm terribly sorry about Cotter, Mrs. McCoy. Thank you, Doctor. If anyone understands, it would be you. How are you holding up? I'm getting by, I guess. Pete here has been a great comfort to me. Yes, I imagine he has been at that. Philosopher once said, the endeavor to persist in its own being is the essence of the individual thing. But when the day comes that the mind and body can be separated, what will happen to the soul?